Parents and Playgrounds Everyone lives, but when these shells awake at six, except on Sunday, who do they please with this dim light by the bed, long stairs, and thoughts of all the wrong they've done and what's for lunch? Nothing neglected, like all white wedding elegance and love bites in cars. And when they're here, they argue about there and back beyond, Tony Blair domesticity and harm, the hand they cannot see, a demand for something we refuse to store inside men who balk at honesty. And are they blessings, these drills they make up, dressing to kill time, wake-up calls, looking at sale signs, and playing the part of someone they don't know? On tomorrow, won't they know that it's no better above sin than below? So when they eat out, she grins and doesn't say anything. He can say what he likes because he speaks through pious silence each day at his own inane expense. That's sick. So sick, they say, we need churches and therapy and novels, cheaper booze, weekend hovels, if the wife approves and the husband sees a few dead friends. The sun is hanging with no clouds. Children walking with no shoes. They lose everything here. Not every one.